Oh, hello. Today on Life Lessons, we are talking about angels. Back in the days, we used to think that angels are supernatural beings who dress all white and had white wings. But growing up and things I have seen and experienced and living in reality has taught me that angels do not appear in the skies. Rather, they live in our hearts. And when they come into your life, their language is different. Their actions to you is different. How they walk is even different. Still, they dwell in us. Why am I talking about angels today? It's simply because most of us, we used our own hands to drive away our angels who came into our life to save us. I have witnessed a couple who one of them is living in ruins now. The other party did not know that the woman was his angel. Share, it is so difficult when you live in self-denial. It is so difficult when you live in, I don't know who I am. Life becomes extremely difficult when you surround yourself with people who will let you live in denial. Let me read this. Some people are angels in our daily lives. Do not drive yours away with your hands, as some people have done. Sometimes your angel will let you do away with your old habits, your old bad habits, before giving you what you are looking for or what you have been asking for. And this takes a process. When an angel comes into your life, that means the angel is going to start everything from scratch with you. Most of these things, we do not take them seriously. Most of us think that once you are going through a process, that person is disturbing you. That person is ruining your life. But it's not so. You are rather digging your own grave with your dirty hands. When you allow yourself you will sing a joyous song after it has been done. I don't know what you are asking for from God. I don't know what you are looking for in today's world. I do not know the, 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 the extent you have gone in looking out for something. But angels come. Sometimes they come in as a wife. They come in as a husband. They come in as cousins. They come in as friends. But because we live in the flesh, because we think angels come in, in different images with different attires, when they are right beside us, we do not see them. We rather would want to go with the world. Let's go and have party, kakra. Let's go and drink, kakra. Let's go and do this, kakra. Let's go and mess up our life, Kakra. Let's chase after everything in skirt and in trousers, Kakra. Whilst your angel is waiting for you at home, when your angel comes into your life, they start with you from the scratch, meaning you have to throw away certain lives to get something, to get what you have been asking for, seeking for, going on your knees, Every blessed day for, you have to do away with your old bad habits so you can have the new one. And when God is coming into your life, he takes away all these bad habits. That is why he brings angels your way. But because we are humans, we live in this world with our own mental agendas. We don't see them. Even when you are distorting and your angel is correcting you, you look at her or him and you do this. 
forget it. <laughs> I'm laughing. Because most of us, we've led a life that our angels closed the chapter, that door that was supposed to open for us. They closed it because you were not listening. At this time, I'm asking you, what are you gazing on? Will you be human enough? Will you come down from your high horses? Will you listen as the door is being knocked for you? Again, it's not for you. It's not about your today. It is about your tomorrow where you are grown up, you are you are old enough and you have nobody around you. You wash your things yourself. You cook by yourself. Simply because your bad habits. Sack your angels, the people who are supposed to be around you. Ego drove them away. Because you did not listen. Because you were not humble enough. Because you were charting your own course. Huh? The angel will go. Your angel has been there knocking, but you're not allowing yourself. Most people's lives are in ruins because their angels came, but they did not see them. Somewhere in the Bible, he says, the sons of Issachar knew their time. So what time are you in? What time are you in today? Ask yourself that question. Angels come. They don't come as we presumed those days. We had this assumption of them. No, they come. They come in the form of humans. They can be your wife. They can be anybody. They have a language they speak. Be able to identify the language of an angel and the language of the world. Be able to be distinct about these things. And you get to know that, hey, your angel is right beside you. Do not drive them away. People have driven this away. And today... They are living single. They are living in ruins because they could not find purpose. They could not find their true identity. Hey, you go. When you have the word understanding, when you know what you are about and you know where it's going to take you, you go. Do not live in self-denial. I keep saying this. Do not allow your life to be ruined. Do not allow friends to lure you into places you are not supposed to go to. Oh, do not. Be, be real to yourself. You are a human being. And you do things humanly. But when an angel appears in your life, their things are different. There and there, you should be able to have the spirit of discernment to discern that angel. Hmm? Don't walk just anyhow. Don't let your life be scattered from people who have no purpose. Every single of us on this earth currently, breathing, drinking, eating, sleeping, waking up with our eyes open, seeing the day, we've got a purpose. Don't let anyone chart your course away from you. You end up like a baby because you don't know your true identity. And you'll be treated as such because you called for it. Wise up. Wake up. Angels are around you. As I said earlier on, they can be your wife. They can be your husband. They can be a cousin. They can be a good friend. Know the sort of angel you are looking for. Because you are the only one who goes on your knees and pray to God and asks for help. So when the angel comes, you should have that discernment to know that this is an angel. Again, when angels come into your life, they have a way of talking. Their communication is different. They would want you to do things accurately, not just anyhow. Know them. Okay, people. Thank you once again for allowing us into your various homes. We are so, so, so grateful. Please, leave a comment when you watch this program. Share. Also, subscribe. Click on the subscription button. Right after that comes the bell icon. Click on the bell icon. Look out for ALF. Click on all. And you are done with us. Whenever we come here to cheer ourselves up, to encourage ourselves to run our lives with, throughout the week, you'll be part of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And God bless you. Have a fruitful week. And bye.